It's in that chair. Be quiet. Sorry. Wag po masyadong mainan. Drinking water. Pure water. Natural water. From Jacob's Well. How are you? It's Veronica. I'm glad to see you. I'm happy to see you. And in this video, we are heading to the center of the promised land. We are heading to Shechem. Shechem is first mentioned in the Bible in the book of Genesis in connection with Abraham. It's from Shechem that the nation of Israel was born. That is the time that God called Abraham. One, uh, when he was on one of the mountains that is called Elon More. That is where God called Abraham and told him that this lad I will give it unto you and still Jacob he bought a piece of lard at, uh, at Shechem and he dug a well and later on and this piece of lard would be a future place for his son Joseph and that is where we have the tomb of Joseph and also this is the same place that Joshua called all the tribes the 12 tribes of Israel their readers and summoned them reminded them of the goodness of God and then said and then told them that me and my house who will serve the Lord so choose from today whoever you are going to choose and they elected a big stone because Joshua told them that this stone has become, will be a, a memorial or will be a witness of whatever you have promised. Shechem is a Hebrew name, but now the city is called Nablus. It's Arabic. And in the New Testament, it's called Sika or Sikar. That is the place where Jesus met the Samaritan woman at the well, at Jacob's well, and, and told her that whoever drinks from this well, Jacob's well, will thirst again. But if you know, you can ask from me <laughs> uh, living water and I'll give unto you. So today in this video, uh, specifically, we are going to visit Jacob's well and I'll be editing more videos about Nablus or Shechem as time goes by but for this video specific video it will be about Jacob's well and today I'm going to taste the waters from all I'm going to drink from Jacob's well today <laughs> in this video we are going to the center of the promised lad Shechem Nablus Sikar. So guys, join me as we travel there. Thank you so much and I love you and I thank you so much for your time. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and if you haven't, please join the community and let us tour the Bible lad, holy lad, with me, Veronica. Mount Eval.
guys welcome to Jacob's well I understand the the well the well is 40 meters deep Wow, wow, that church is high. So high. I remember the judges of Israel. Wow. Guys, uh, we will wait the the group that can come out and before we go down. Okay. That's the way to the well. Thank you. 
wala namang ano. So, uh, they built the church on top of the well. Uh, the well is down. Head now, I'll take you. Let's go and see the, the well. Jacob's well. I understand it's like 40, 40 meters deep. Ayo, bro. 
Jacob's well and I drank water hallelujah I feel good The Bible says at Shechem, Jacob came and he dug a well. He bought a piece of land or purchased a piece of land at Shechem. And for you, those days, if you bought a piece of land, you had to dig a well so that uh, it can, uh, to show that it's your piece of land. So Jacob dug a well at this place and under the well where you have the well they built a church so that's uh, the memory of that place you know that uh, uh, when people come to this place so that they can have a place of worship jacob's well let's read the jacob's well is also known as jacob's fountain or well of Sychar. But when Jacob returned to Shechem from Padan Aram, he camped before the city and bought the rod on which he pitched his tent and erected an altar. It is also, Jacob's well is also mentioned in the New Testament. In the book of John, chapter 4, verse 5, Jesus came to a city of Samaria, Saika, near the field which Jacob gave to his son Joseph. The uh, Samaritans only believe in the, five, the first five books of the Old Testament. That is the Torah. While else, uh, the Jews uh, believe in the whole book of the Old Testament. So that is the difference. So Jesus answered her, if you knew the gift of God. So here we have a Jew speaking to a Samaritan, okay? Uh, the Samaritan woman said to Jesus, you are a Jew and I'm a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me for a drink? For Jews do not associate with Samaritans. Jesus answered her. Let me sit down. <laughs> I think I need to sit down. <laughs> uh, Jesus answered her. If you knew the gift of God and who it is that ask, asks you for a drink, you would have asked him. And you, he would have given you living water. Sir, the woman said, you have nothing to draw with. The well is deep. And by the way, as I told you, the well is about, as I heard, is about 40, 40 meters deep. Where can you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well and drank from it himself? As did also his sons and livestock. Jesus answered, everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. I drank the water and I will believe that a few, after a few minutes, because it's so hot, it's summer, I will still need water. So Jesus said, everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will be will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life.
The woman said to him, <laughs> Sir, give me this water so that I won't get dust and have to keep coming here to draw water. <laughs> so, so, guys, you see, the Bible becomes life. <laughs> yes. Whatever is written in the Bible, I always tell you, is, is true. These places exist up, uh, up to now. So never doubt about it. So guys i love you so much thank you so much thank you for your support and shalom blessings light here from jacob's well i <laughs> thank you so much